Page 124, Lord Reign in Me. 4-4 four, four time, key of C major, let's talk about things. It's, again, the rhythm. You think, well, it's a bunch of eighth notes and quarter notes, we ought to be able to handle it? Yeah, right. At the beginning, right hand. Connect the top note. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two. Connect the top note. Second finger on the F. And then we begin the verse. One and two. One and two and three and four. That's it for page 124, pretty much. And top of page 125, you're up here. Just staying in this position, pretty much, where the thumb can cover two notes. That's basically what we're doing. And that's pretty much it for page 124 on this. Here, until you get down to the third line. Now here, I recommend a fourth finger on the C, third line down on page 125 here to here to, to connect it and then if you want you can use their fingering of a 1-4 and a 1-5 be nice to connect the bottom note but it's the top note we're listening for going on with the chorus they're saying 1-3 I'm going to suggest 2-3 on that eighth note the last note on the third line so again, with the chorus, it's one five, one four, one four, and three two. Here, connect them both. Here on the last line, it's two four, and then it's a two five. The thumb just doesn't need to play all that all the time, so why not? The same fingering every time it happens. Then over on page 126, it's pretty much what we've already had. To go down to the last line there, you're here, and here, and then a one four, and then a, and then you can do the one five if or the one four if you want. That's a stretch to do a two four, so that's fine. Or one five for the last one. One four or one five doesn't matter. I hold that down. Left hand. Keep it soft. You're basically in this position. Stay in this position. Then you come up. And then down. You can on the second line, second measure there on 124. You can do that with a one three and then a one two if you want. Because you're closer to this, it's the next note if you want. Or you can use their finger in this fine. You just got to come down more. Use their fingering, it's fine. And so forth. Not a lot going on in the left hand, just keep it soft. And put the hands together. Bring out the melody if you can. This first part is introduction, but go ahead and try and bring out the top note in the right hand. the notes that have words with them. Can you get this rhythm? Let's look at this rhythm carefully in the last measure, or the last line on page 124. It's here. One and two and three and four and one and two. Just watch the rhythm carefully. Don't play what you think it says because it'll trick you. Be careful and play what it's doing. Page 125. Third line down, you're here. Just bring out the top note. 
It's a little repetitious, but that's the song. It's repetitious, but keep everything else soft. We're going to add pedal to smooth this out because it needs to be legato. And we can't do it with the fingers. There's too many repeated notes going on and too many awkward movements with the hands. So we're, basically I'm going to pedal it every two beats or and occasionally every beat. It depends on what's happening in the music. I don't want to smear things up too badly. And it's overlapping, so the pedal lags behind the hands. The hands overlap. You play the notes, and then you'll change the pedal after you play the notes. So they overlap. At the beginning, I'll push it down for the first two beats. Change it here. Change it here. Every two beats. Every two beats. And then, then we start it. Every two beats. Two beats is working out fine here. Page 126 is again every two beats. Now in the third line down on the second measure, that's the first measure of that ending, you can pedal that whole measure there. line again the first measure there in the last line you leave it down for the whole measure and every two beat. and then at the end the pedal and the hands come up together now one thing about notes and words I noticed in here it's kind of nitpicky but we try and get nitpicky if we can in music take a look at this is an example you'll see it in various places but it's like at the Top of page 125, at the first measure, you have these all these eighth notes. Well, on the first set of words, and there's two verses because you'll repeat it. On the first set of words, there's no word for that eighth note. For the one eighth note, it's, there's no word there. In the second verse, there's a word there. But in the first, there isn't. Generally, when you play piano solo whatever doesn't really matter but I'm getting nitpicky and there's no word there you'll just tie that note you won't play it you'll just hang on to it so in that first one I wouldn't play the A again until the second beat so that first one would sound more like a quarter note on the first time because there's no word for it there so to Start with the last measure at 124, it's here. And just hang on to it because there's no word. But the second verse would go ahead and play it because there's a word that goes with it. And you'll see this in other parts too. I'm not going to do that in the play with me. I'm just going to go ahead and play all the notes because I'm not going to repeat it. So we'll just do it that way. I'd like to do a play with me shortly. I don't know that you really need it. This is not a real complicated piece. but. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, and I'll do pages 124, 125, and stop, turn the page, and then do page 126. I'm not going to repeat. I'm just going to play page 126 all the way straight through. It's not a little funny, but that's all right. You want to play along? Go ahead and check your notes and rhythms and so forth. So I'll give us four counts. One and two. And ready and go. And. And 
Hold and 